Lin Chan and Dimi Chan play games. Ta ta da 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 there is a map in there, but we need to kill this eyeball thing. Because eyeball things need to die. That's a little overkill. That's also a little overkill. There you go. Dead eyeball thing. Do you think Link will ever get like gangrene and whatnot by staying in the water for so long? No. I think he's pretty much disease. Disease. <laughs> Immune to all sorts of diseases. Yep. Let's get our map. So this past weekend, I was trying to, to bring it up last episode, but we got distracted. One weekend, a couple weekends ago, some weekend. Yeah, lots of weekends ago. Uh, it's last one weekend. Yeah, on the whichever one was the eighth, uh, we went and saw your name, which is a critically acclaimed masterpiece of an anime. Masterpiece that of everyone anime. needs to go watch. Go watch it. Agree? It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm going to try to sing everything that I'm going to say, okay? But I'm going to sing it off note. Because, You're not singing it yet. Either. I'm going to sing it off note in tune because I can't sing like Shane. <gasps> so, yeah, we need to get the con terminals to gain back control of You need to gain back Ruta. control of the back. And we need to activate all the controls. Now. No, bad link. Bad link. So yeah, we, we went and saw your name. Uh, and as like a rough synopsis, it's about these two uh, middle school or junior high school? Junior high school class slash middle school. And uh, it, something happened where when they sleep, they somehow switch Places. Yeah, so they originally think it's part of their dreams. Yeah, that they are because they switch places and they take uh, that person's life for that day or whatever. Mm -hmm. But to them, it's so real that it feels like it's a dream, you know. Mm -hmm. Until later on, they realize it wasn't a dream, and and then so then they try to find each other and. Um, so they try to find each other when they start to realize, okay, this isn't a dream and we live near the same area, so let's try to find each other. However, of course, you know. Uh, major spoilers. Major spoiler. Things, shit happen. Things blow up and shit happen again and they never get to meet. And it turns out. Don't go ruining it. And, and, like it, the turns, first and it turns out uh, they never I... end up meeting and that was the end of it. And they're like, huh? What's your name? And then they end up meeting each other randomly. They're like, I feel like we've met each other, but we don't. I don't know who you are. What's your name? And that's where the your name comes from. <laughs> I'm not sure if that counts as spoilers, actually. That's not a spoiler. You said not to spoil it, so I didn't spoil it. You want me to spoil it? No. I didn't spoil it. I uh, Pretty much you have these two kids who who were dreaming that they took over someone else's life and it turned out it wasn't a dream and they try to find each other and the the well rest, they didn't necessarily find the try find each other right away they try I they said. just try to like i didn't say they found each other i no, said I'm they saying tried they to weren't find even that wasn't even their their goal they just wanted to like to like live life normally and yeah. and through that they end up like learning more about each other about each other and their lives and what it's like to live in a different city in a in different circumstances. Mm. And I'd say that's more of what the movie's about. Now. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh huh. What? But anyway, it was good. It was very emotional. There's lo there's lots of humor in it, but there's lots of emotional stuff as well, and meaning like things that make you cry. And things that make you laugh, and things that make you anxious. Yeah. Like I would like halfway into the movie where it starts to pick up speed, and things were getting intense. Like I was sitting on the edge of my seat, concentrating so hard that I was sort of 
Yeah. I was sort of numb to the whole thing. Like I was focusing so hard to the movie that I was sort of numb to what was going on mm -hmm. until like when we got home and then a sort of like rush in and like all the emotions that was going through mm -hmm. or supposedly to go through me, like went through me. And I was like, I felt very hyper and anxiety. I wanted to cry, but I couldn't cry anymore. Like I, it, and then for like, for a whole day, even the next day, it was like constantly staying in my mind, that mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, it was definitely a roller coaster of emotion, if you yeah. can even describe it that way. Yeah. Very sad. Ah, so that goes down. But yeah. So, yes, if if you haven't seen it yet, I believe it's still in theaters for like the next another week or so. Uh huh. Uh, and it's both dub and sub, so there's there's some for everyone. It's uh, English sub. Yeah, English sub. Uh, yeah, this is the U.S. release. It's been released pretty much all over, all over the place by now. Yeah, it's all over the world by now. Um, and uh, it's beautiful. The story is engaging. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. Uh, it's sad. It's heart wrenching. It's all of those things. Seven, so yeah. Uh, and like the story was really nice too. Mm-hmm. And it, like, I don't want to say what it is, but mid the way through, it's going to change in a way that you're not expecting. Uh, and, th like, the way they did it is not haphazard. Like, it was very carefully put together. Very, uh, not, like... Well thought out. Yeah, well thought out. And, yeah, definitely, definitely do go and check that movie out because it is absolutely worth your time. And there was a lot of uh, things going on, how uh, they didn't get nominated for the, what is it, for the Academy Award and all that, and how uh, certain anime, like animated. animated movies got won and stuff like that. And Yeah, so they, they wanted to get it uh, in time for the Oscars. So they did do a screening. Was it the Oscars or the Academy Award? Um, it was the Oscars. Oh, yeah, okay. The Oscar. I don't know what the difference. I never followed these things. But yeah, it was for one of those big time movie deal award. I think maybe it was the Oscar. Because mind you, this movie has like broken a lot of records All in throughout Japan. Japan, yeah. And like records worldwide as well. Like, it's one of the best Japanese movies of all time. I don't think I'm going to be able to time So, it. yeah, before we, for, we've heard about it, before mm -hmm. we went to watch it, about this whole thing, how it didn't win, it, like, didn't, wasn't even considered, like, it wasn't even in the top five nominees for the award and how people were backlashing the, mm -hmm. the whole Oscar uh, system and stuff like that. And so then we went and watched it to see it for ourselves. And after watching it, we felt like this should have won. Like mm -hmm. this, no this movie was very well thought out. It, it hit on every emotions that you can have, you know, and it was just very well played. And so after watching the movie, we were like, why didn't it win? Like, we were so frustrated. So we, we started, like, looking it up. Like, so why didn't it win? Mm -hmm. And there was an article talking about it. The thing is, when it comes to a movie being nominated for, like, an award, it's they're not just looking at just the storyline, you know, mm -hmm. or just the basic animation technique well like, yeah they for look, the category that look, it was going in they look at everything else as mm -hmm. well like like uh it was Uto utopia that that one or utopia that zootopia utopia Zoo. zootopia and <laughs> then there was kubo there mm -hmm. was an uh, a few other red turtle mm -hmm. which and, is another uh, uh Japanese. collaboration between japan and yeah uh france actually so the article was talking about like how all of, like it's understandable that your name didn't even make it to the top five is because 
when they were uh, deciding what movies to, you know, to get to be nominated, they were looking at the technique, the technological way of animating something. Mm-hmm. And when you look at that, your name definitely was not up there. Like it was very simple, it was very basic, normal, you know, animation style, right? And all the other movies sort of had a very chose a very uh, different style to portray its movie. Kubo was what? Uh, it was uh, claymation. Yeah, Kubo. Kubo was claymation technique. So pretty much, you have a clay model and you move every single move. You physically have a, a specialist who move every single part every frame every frame take a picture move the frame take a picture so like if the hair is flowing you move every strand of the hair take a picture and then you put that together so that's mm-hmm. a lot of work mm-hmm. and uh what was a uh, zootopia had a di- very different style too you're not oh, I'm, I'm dying okay uh, Zootopia ha- was all 3D animated. Yeah, Z- so 3D animation. And, like, they spent a lot of time on having realistic textures. Yeah. For Zootopians specifically. Uh, but at the same time, like, a ton of work went into the animation process for your name. Oh, like, yeah. It is by but- no means... Uh, but they look at it as it wasn't as challenging as all the other techniques, and it wasn't as uh, time-consuming in a way, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is a and, bit of a shame. And it wasn't as, uh, and that style of animation in your name was sort of old, because all anime is animated that way, mm-hmm. in a way. You know. In a way, just not to the same level. Yeah, in detail. a way. But if you ever watch, like, go go look at Zootopia and look mm-hmm. at Kubo. Like, the style of animation is very different. Well, it's not the standard traditional animation style. Well, I, I feel like and we're I saying that because we're kind of used out. to anime. But that's why they stand out. Well, if you yeah. look at a cartoon, you know. Well, like, claymation it, it used to be very common, you know. Yeah. Like, that alone. But maybe that technique is very challenging to to uh, perfect, you know. Mm-hmm. But overall, if we're talking about like storyline and the plot, your name should like definitely is the best. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, everyone definitely go see it. I think it's still out. Yeah. Check Funimation's website. Like, who cares if it didn't win? Like, and even the author was like. People need to stop putting so much, uh, so much what? Con- like money into Attention this? onto this film. Because oh yeah, because he, he considers it unfinished. Yeah, he himself did not consider it was a perfect masterpiece. He himself was like, oh, this, this could improve a lot more and I wish people would stop uh, putting so much effort and time into saying that this movie is the best of all time when it isn't, mm-hmm. you know? And I feel like this is like true humblenism of like Japanese culture. Culture, mm. if that's even a word, humblism, right? Hum- is, humblism. Is humblism a word? No, not quite. Well, it it is now. <laughs> yeah. But he's so humble over the fact that like it's so everyone loves it so much. He's like, oh, stop it, stop it, stop giving me money. I I had enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, like it, it really shows a difference between like American shows and this one because the freaking in the freaking credits, uh, his name was the last thing to show, not the first thing. Yeah. Like you look at an, any American movie, uh, the first line is directed by Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Like that's the most important thing to have. Oh, I jumped a little too far. Because those are the people with the money. Those are the mm-hmm. people that can, you know, make it work, you know. Because mm-hmm. what's the other anime that we watch? Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Like. And they made it into a live action recently. Like they put Scarlett Johansson's name on there because her name is what sell. Mm-hmm. You know. And for better or for worse, that's how it is. Yeah. But in Japan, I think it's not like that. Like, people don't care about 
fame and you know and all that right or not not to the same extent as it is in america mm -hmm. it's all about the brand you know in america mm -hmm. and who's famous who's popular we get those people to be on there i feel like japan is very different they're very humble well that was quick mm. let me just stand there for you to stab that thing right through my neck yeah it's not like i was trying to avoid or anything Anywho, we'll continue next time. Good Bye, night. everyone. Bye, Chan Chans. Go watch your name. It's really good. It's really good. Support those people so then that way there will be more Japanese content. Yeah. For us to view in the United States. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Chan. Ah, Timmy Chan. Len Chan. Timmy Chan. Ah, Lin Chan and Dimi Chan, uh, Chan, Chan, uh, Lin Chan, and Dimi Chan, and Lin Chan, uh, Lin Chan, and Dimi Chan, and Lin Chan, uh, Lin Chan, and Dimi Chan, and Lin Chan, and Dimi Chan, and Lin Chan, and Dimi Chan, and Lin